and welcome to the first of many follow POS tutorial videos. I'm Francisco and today I'll be giving you a brief overview of some of the many capabilities of follow and then walk you through some of the basics of running a store from writing a ticket, editing tickets, and then uh, marking tickets ready, picking up the items. Yeah, and picking up the items that the customer wants. So just so you know, this is an introductory video. So all you people who are done learning about the core functionalities and want uh, the advanced features of the software can skip to later episodes where we really, really dive in. And heck, even the stuff that I'll be showing you right now can be split into independent videos. But then again, if you really want more in-depth uh, uh, part or modules of each of these sections, you can go into a later video. Uh, but without further ado, here's follow. So for those of you who don't know, follow is a point of sale system that suits uh, both your dry cleaning and laundry business needs. Uh, it's a fully integrated system that organizes everything from tickets to customers to delivery routes to stores uh, to items and to reports and anything really in between. It runs on basically any Windows uh, operating system nowadays from Microsoft. So if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1 uh, or even the latest Windows 10, you're, 10, you're pretty much set. So just to future proof, I'll, I'll, be doing most, uh, I'll be doing my recordings on a Windows 10 system. But if you have any older system from Windows, no worries, everything pretty much just stays the same. A little bit of history on Vivaldi. Vivaldi has over 30 years of experience understanding the way this uh, business works, and therefore the software is packed with features we all know are uh, crucial to an everyday experience. All right, so let's begin. I know I've been talking a lot. Uh, so let's run the software right now. Again, right now I'm assuming that, um, actually I have a desktop shortcut right now for easy access. Again, um, right now I'm assuming that all your printers and software are installed in the system. So if you would just want to follow along and you have all those uh, printers and the software actually installed, uh, you, yeah, pretty much follow along. But if you're just here to see how the software works, you know, not a problem. Sit back and relax. So I'm just going to load this up right now. Uh, so yeah, you're, this, this is pretty much the software. Uh, you're prompted to a login window. You don't need to worry about this a little bit too much in terms of the account and password. Once you own the software, uh, you will be granted an account and password. So I'll just type in right now to get access. So I'm just going to password, login, and now I'm in the software. So this is the main menu. Uh, the way we built this software is that uh, you have, it, 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 it as everything is uh, a tile format. So we've given you the ability to, if you have a touch screen, you can select any of these buttons right here and you can, you know, uh, you have that option. If you want to go old school, actually, you can go up to on counter and then click on right ticket. It, it basically does everything that this does except up on a menu. Or if you have um, a mouse, which how I'll be guiding you today, you can click on any of these tiles. So I'd like to think that the best way to learn the software is to get real hands on with the software. So I like to do all these uh, case scenario. So we like to build the case scenario right now. A customer walks in, let's just say that a customer walks in with a whole bunch of items that some need to be dry cleaned and others laundered. What do you do? Not a problem. So um, the way follow works is that we select right ticket up on the top left portion of the screen and we will be sent to the customer search window. So I'll let you guess what that does. Exactly. We search for the customer. I've actually made a customer a search, uh, a, a test customer right now, by my own name actually. So I'll just type in Francisco, and this is a wildcard um, search box. So we can type in the account number, name, any 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 form, even just a portion of it, and then it it'll filter down below. So I'll just go ahead and click search now, and there it is, Francisco Vivaldi, my account number, and in order to write a ticket, we either double click or write ticket up above. So I've clicked on that. So this next clean screen is actually where we input all of those items onto the ticket, uh, which will be filtered right here on this screen up above on the top right. So let me just explain a little bit of, of, of how this thing is divided. So here in the middle are all the items under the defaulted, uh, under the class right now. So we're, right now we're under dry cleaning. So if we want to search under different kinds of uh, classes. We have the ability to do that. So there's dry cleaning, uh, laundry, Again, filtered on uh, different items under different classes. Household, um, and then press only. And then you can actually add all uh, different classes if you want to. So you can delete all of these and then build it to your kind of taste. And one of the actually cool things that I like about this is that we actually have um, uh, photos that, or um, 
pictures that we can actually import for to describe the items. You can see that household doesn't have any pictures, but dry cleaning does. So on household it has a text for their description, whereas dry cleaning has pictures for their description. And then right here we have the uh, 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 the, the touch pad or the number pad, I guess. Um, that's how we add different um, uh, the amounts of items. So let's just go ahead and, oh actually I forgot to explain. Down here we have our quick and easy um, optional of charges. So um, I'll, let, I'll explain that in just a bit. So let's say they have uh, one blouse. We select one blouse and then we have a four stub charge. So we're, so we're forced to add a, a four stub charge. So we, let's just describe it as a silk blouse. Then it'll be updated right here on the top right. So we have one silk blouse for four dollars and then total is four dollars. And then we have our a total number of pieces. The next part, I guess, select a different. Um, I think they said. I think we have. What what I say they have? They have. Um, oh yeah, a dry cleaning and then laundry item. So let's just select two, shorts, and then we have a, a starch preference. So let's just select light starch. We have a preference. Actually, I've done this before. So their preference is light starch. So we just click select light starch. And then we wanted to down here on the bottom. We we have the ability to add optional up charges. So we can say uh, let's just you know um, add one button, and so it'll append right here on the right, and then add the uh, add the total. So we have three uh, totaling three pieces of totaling up to twelve seventy five. And then we have all these option uh, other options. We can change quality quantity, change the price, uh, delete lines, and then uh, add certain up charges if we want to. But right now we're just going to click save and print. We select our calendar or our, our pickup delivery date. It defaulted by the next day right now. So, but if we want to, we can select. Uh, let's do three days from now. So that's the twenty second. And then we're selected uh, sent to the, this next screen, which I'll explain right now. Uh, so we can edit the date if we wanted to. So instead of the 22nd, we can choose the 21st. Uh, we have our coupons. We have our all, all these totals, coupon uh, amount, subtotal taxes, uh, all these charges, and then at the number of pieces, we have a total due. So if, if your system is set so that you charge before their items are processed, you can add a prepayment up above or, or pay and pick up. If they have items ready to be picked up and they want to do a prepayment, you have that option as well. Or um, normally you would just do um, a print ticket. That's what a lot of people do. That's where we have this huge button right here. Uh, or email ticket if you're getting close, closer to more of a modern age. So modern uh, email ticket and then close. Or if they have um, uh, tickets ready or items ready to be picked up, you can print and then pick up. Or if you don't have a printer like I have, I don't have right now. Or if you're just really um, keen on being environmentally friendly and don't want to print tickets, saving clothes or if they don't just don't want to, to have a uh, a receipt so I'll just click save and close and then we, that we're sent back to the main menu uh, if we wanted to we could actually edit a ticket so we could go into this uh, option and then um, edit the ticket it'll actually send us to uh, let's actually um, my account number is I forget seven six zero seven eight nine four five six one so we could actually select the ticket that we just built right now so it's the latest one that we've done so we can edit the ticket if we wanted to this will send us back to the right ticket module uh, so without actually having all these other items uh, at, at the bottom um, so if we wanted to we can delete this line remove line uh, so it ask us do you want to remove shorts uh, and I said yes so now they only have the blouse not a problem so I just click save and then close So the next thing that we would want to do is actually mark the tickets ready or assign locations which will mark the tickets automatically. Um, this will depend on how you treat your, 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 your store. So I generally like to mark the tickets ready. Mark the tickets ready is something of a preparation before, um, so you process all your items, you clean them or whatever it is you do, and then we would mark the tickets ready and to tell the system that their items are ready. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So our ticket number is actually four six seven four uh, um, one two. So we marked that ticket ready, marked ready, and it told us that um, ticket four six seven four one two has been marked ready. So we actually close the uh, button. Now we need to pick them up. Actually, so the next thing we will want to do is pick up the ticket. 
and then we select our customer. It actually has pre-done this because that's that was our last search. So we click Francisco, click search, double click on him. And so this is the pickup window. So uh, how do how do I go about this? So actually, funny thing, we've actually written tickets for this customer before, this test customer, and one of them hasn't been marked ready. So all the items that are in process or all the tickets that are in process will be put status I for in process. And all the ones that we marked ready will be uh, um, marked as R for ready. So this is actually the ticket that we marked ready, actually, in fact. So all the ones that are marked ready or ready to be picked up uh, will be actually have a check mark, but we can always add a check mark if we want to. So if you want to see what's actually in, in that ticket, we click on it and we see what items are under that ticket. Uh, we could actually um, pick, pick both up if we want to, uh, or we could just pick up one um, as which what I'll do right now. Um, again, these are all just filters right here. And lastly, we'll just cash out, select the pickup, uh, select the tickets, and this will send us to sort of like this last pickup window where you um, add the tender amount. Um, they'll be paying with cash right now, but we have the ability to pay by check, credit card, um, or pay with the gift card. If they have an account and have money under that account, they'll be, or actually if they're an account customer, this total will be sent onto the, the their account. But that is pretty much it. So let's pay by cash. Uh, you give them the change due, which is 725. We click OK, and they'll send us back to the main menu. So that's pretty much it. If you found that I was going a bit too fast and missed some of the steps, then that is perfectly fine. Uh, this is actually just a quick way of understanding the software, and every step that I took will be discussed more in depth in later videos, beginning with a full understanding of writing a ticket, which is the first thing that I did. Uh, so yeah, uh, actually if you if you found also that I was going a bit too fast, you could always stop and then rewind and then go back to that certain section. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.